What is up YouTube? It's Evan with Southwest Side by Side. Today we're going to be putting on a particle separator from S&B filters. Now you may be asking, what is a particle separator? Well, it's right behind me. Essentially what it does is it connects to the air filter and makes sure that nothing touches that air filter except for just clean air. The manufacturer claims that 94% of all dirt, dust, and whatever you might be driving through gets stopped by the particle separator before it hits the air filter. Why is that important? Well, the more air that goes through the filter and into your engine, the more power you're going to make. So with this naturally going through very dirty areas, that air filter normally would get clogged up pretty fast and we'd have to clean it and replace it quite often. The particle separator will prevent that, it'll keep it clean and keep anything from going in through our filter to our engine, restricting power or even causing damage. I say particle separators are almost a must for anywhere, no matter where you take your side by side, but especially here in Southwest Utah where we have so much dust and, and debris, it's just, you have to have it. This episode is not sponsored by SMB Performance, but we do love their products and we think they make great stuff. Now our real sponsor for today's episode is Epsilon by Taylor Eric Odom. Epsilon is Taylor's first book and available on Kindle and paperback. Epsilon is available today, we'll throw links in the bio. I had a part in creating this book and it is one of my most favorite stories we've ever told. Taylor is an absolute genius and you won't find a better sci-fi novel anywhere else. Now back to the show. Okay, so for this portion of the hardware install for the SFB filter, particle, the SFB particle separator. We're gonna pull off the old air box lid. This we won't use. We'll pull off the pre-filter. Now this comes in your kit, this is two pieces. You have this rubber piece and this plastic piece. This goes into the pre-filter. So we'll work that down. You wanna make sure that this rubber edge comes all the way out, makes a good seal. And then we can install Put the pre-filter back, making sure the tabs go back in the hole. One hour later. And there's that, making sure that the tabs are still in. And there we go. That's lot now locked into place. Here is the new airbox cover provided by S and B. You have to put these tabs on to lock them back into the grommets. So you'll find these in a bag in the box. You just put them down, screw them on, use some of the blue Loctite, and then we can put this on. And the hose, there's the hose coming right up. Get this in place. There we go. So we already put the rings on, and as much as it doesn't look like it, the rings will fit. There are two sizes, one for the bar below and one for the bar up above. You have these center pieces here, and then this is where you'll put on your L brackets, making sure that this flat piece is on the inside on both sides. I'll tighten on the screw itself. I just put it in here. It's just a lot cleaner that way. Put a little bit in there. Grab my L bracket and tighten that down. Now, obviously, you don't want to do this too tight just yet in case you want to, you know, how you want to mount your air box, how that'll look. So I just ran the wire up through that gap because this has to plug into the bottom of the SMB particle filter. This is to power the fans that are at the bottom. So that's what I have right here in my hand. We'll get the SMB filter installed and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're looking through the back of the machine at the front of the motor. Obviously we have the turbo right here and then this wire hanging in the middle of the screen. This is an ignition sensor provided by SMB. Basically this just tells the fans in the particle separator uh, how fast to spin based on the RPM of the engine. So what they tell us to do is to basically clamp it down to the coil pack on one of the cylinders in there. Uh, it's a very tight space. It took both of us in our fat ass hands a couple uh, a little while to get it attached, but once you do, 
uh, then the rest is really easy. So word to the wise, those that purchase this kit, they're, they, they send you instructions in space with just a crappy YouTube video um, that doesn't tell you really anything about how to actually do it. So shout out to SMB for that wonderful guidance. Uh, we figured it out. You guys will figure it out too, not that big deal. Okay, so we cleaned up the wiring a little bit to keep it away from the turbo. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it all the way down through here with the rest of the cables. So that way it's nice and clean and out of any uh, out of the way of anything. The sensor wire has been plugged in right here. This is for the power right here, and then this is right where the particle box goes in, as I mentioned. The power portion will plug in right here. We're gonna run that all the way through the car, and it's gonna connect here, right to there. We cinched up the wiring so it's out of the way of everything, keeping away from the turbo and everything. So now we're gonna finish running the wire through the bottom of the cab, and then back into the power place, and we're good to go. I guess that's about good right there. Now we'll still have to come back through and tighten, really tighten all this stuff down. Right now we're just getting a feel right. for how it looks. I'll get you some blue Loctite for you. You did bottom hole yet? Yeah, bottom hole, yeah. Cute, there we go. And then there is that to give it a little bit of oomph. So they provide this long tube with the kit so that way you can cut it to however long you need it. So now we're gonna cut it obviously to just fit right in here and get everything bolted down nice and tight. On now we've zip tied all the wiring, connected it to the proper places down here, and now we are good to go. Okay, only one thing left to do. 